Dust storms can be pretty amazing when you see them from space. And sometimes they're huge. You know, I had seen little dust storms blowing and you kind of look hard. This, you didn't need to look hard. It was the continent of Northern Africa, basically obscured by thick brown dust. And as I orbited, I couldn't wait to come back. And when I did, I saw that dust storm that was over Africa, now over the Atlantic Ocean. In my next orbit, I see it hitting the coast of South America. Every year, about 27 million tons of that African dust we can see from orbit drops out of the sky into the Amazon basin. And it turns out it's the perfect fertilizer. As they grow, the plants and the trees turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. One single tree can produce enough oxygen to support two people. And the Amazon rainforest is 10 times the size of Texas producing 20 times more oxygen than all the people on the surface of the Earth could consume. But not one breath of it leaves the Amazon. There are so many animals living in the Amazon basin that the life there uses all that oxygen up. For all these years, I've been thinking the rainforest is the lungs of the planet. Now, sure, it makes a lot of oxygen, but it uses it all. The rainforest does help us breathe, but not because of air. There's a river in the Amazon. No, not that one. There's another river, a river in the sky. 